Hey, what's up, guys? Dealer9 coming at ya. Oh, God, I just turned into Liza. Speaking of famous YouTubers, I want to tell you guys some of my famous stories huh, from VidCon 2018. Some really crazy experiences that I never would have thought would have ever happened. A really crazy experience. If you were expecting a vlog, I apologize. You know, sometimes I like to just come on here and talk to you guys and tell you guys stories. And I've actually thought about doing that recently because I see a lot of YouTubers do that. And I find it a lot cooler. Maybe it's not interesting. Ugh. I you hate it when you get burps, but then like they never come, so you choke. <laughs> so my first story was back in 2017 when I went to the Studio 71 party. I met so many people. There's even a video about it. It's so crazy about, like, just the thought of having, I think I had, like, 7,000 or 6,000 subscribers then. I'm not really sure. No, but, uh, I met, like, Ian Hecox, Logan Paul, the Martinez twins, Yvonne Martinez, by the way, George and Marcus, and I actually met Markiplier for the, and like, which blew my mind. Cause like when I met Markiplier, I don't think I told you guys this actually. Wow, what am I doing in my life? No, but when I met Markiplier, by the way, Mark, if you're watching this, it was such an honor. It was crazy cause my first video on my YouTube, you guys don't know this cause I deleted it years ago, was me talking about my channel and starting it. I introduced myself on a Dell computer, a Dell laptop, using that webcam and microphone, talking about the reason why I started YouTube. And one of the reasons was because of Markiplier. I started my channel because I was inspired by him. I've always wanted to become a gaming YouTuber, which didn't really work out for me. And that's okay, some things just don't work out. Let me just start when I was in line. When I was lying, I knew it was legit because it had the Studio 71 and it was, at a, it was in a bar and I wasn't old enough, I was like, 18 so I was like yo what's up guys hi I'm new to this YouTube stuff but wait, I still have my lanyard from 2017 and I lost my badge but that's okay because I still have memories with just the lanyard and it, it's it's amazing it's amazing because it reminds me that you know there's always that possibility that you may f see or do something that you never saw yourself doing. And I never saw myself going into a party and meeting the person that helped me be me. <laughs> it was just, it was, in it was insane. Like some people be like, oh my god, oh, shit. But I was more like, yo dude, what's up? And then in the inside, I was just like, ah! Okay, anyways, if you guys can't relate to that, I, I get it. I'm a little crazy. And like at this point, this is one of the stories where I'm just like, oh no. Like I even had nightmares about this story. Um, <laughs> one time I was walking through VidCon. I actually went one day. It was VidCon 2018. And the reason why I was so excited to go to VidCon 2018 was because of nobody but Braille skateboarding. I've always wanted to meet them. I was watching them every single day, like binge watching them. So I was like, Oh my god, I have to get a ticket right now and go. So I did. And I went. And I was walking through VidCon. And I remember seeing all like the stuff, like the Nickelodeon, like Double Dare. I think that was it. It was like a whole setup where you went through the track and got foamed or slimed. Something. Something in that nature. <laughs> I wasn't a big fan because I was already nauseous walking through and everybody was overwhelming. I think I have anxiety. I was walking in there trying so hard not to throw up all over the place because I was so nauseous. And then all of a sudden, I walk up to the braille. I was like, oh man, this is cool. I walk away, and as I'm walking away, someone starts following me from behind. And I was like, okay, this is weird. Because like every turn that I did, like I would walk, and it was like an aisle, and I would just turn a little bit down the aisle just to see if they would walk past me, and they would literally do the same thing, and they would follow me from behind, like they were trying to catch up with me. So I turned around, I, I kind of like, I didn't want to turn around and be like, you know, I didn't want to do that because I felt like that would have not been a best first impression, especially if it was just a stranger. They would have probably been like this, oh God, and probably just had a stroke right there because of my face. I kind of slowed down a little bit. Maybe they were trying to say hey or something. Maybe they were one of you guys. So I slowed down and I kind of glanced over my shoulder. And as I did that, he walks next to me and he says, excuse me, man. And it was Gabe from Braille Skateboarding. This guy. And I was like, what? <laughs> Have you ever had one of those moments like you didn't expect it to happen, but like you felt like it was gonna happen at some point? I used to watch Braille skateboarding and I was like, dude, one day I'm gonna meet him. And then at VidCon, I didn't even know he was going. I knew that um, Aaron Cairo was going, 
because his name was on there, but I didn't know he was going. All right, let me get to the embarrassing part. So, one of my favorite YouTubers walked, bumped into me, and he was like, hey man, what's up? So I was walking to the bathroom, because at this point I was like, you know what, I can't hold it no more, I'm gonna throw up everywhere, so let me go ahead and just go throw up. But anyways, yeah, so I was throwing up, having a good old time, you know, just going, <laughs> just throwing up everywhere. I flush it, I'm just disgusted with myself. I'm like, I just need to leave. I need to get out of here. I'm never coming back. This is the worst. I'm feeling so bad. I step out of the stall, I'm covered in throw up, and Gabe is literally right there. He's right there in front of me. So I'm just like, dude, what's up? <laughs> it's like, I'm not even like, imagine seeing your favorite YouTuber, you're just covered in vomit. From like here down. He just, hey man, are you done? Yeah, I think I am, dude. I really think I am. There's nothing left in my stomach, to be completely honest, if you were wondering. No, I didn't say any of that. I was like, yeah, man, I'm just not feeling good. He took the stall that was covered in vomit. I don't know why. He, I guess, I don't know. I don't really care. That's besides the point. The fact was, I was covered in vomit, and my favorite YouTuber saw me like that. Oh, there's no better feeling than being covered in vomit and your idol just looking at you in disgust. <sighs> I've never felt more dead inside than that moment. The, I think 2018 was like the worst experience, but it wouldn't have been if I felt great. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Like if I didn't feel bad, I feel like it would have been the best because I met like, I met Brent Rivera. I met so many cool people. I just didn't feel good the entire time. So my, like, my, my conversations could have went better than they did. I just kind of shortened it and kind of cut it short with a lot of people. I just, I, I didn't feel good. Like, if you go to VidCon, make sure you take a lot of medicine before you go so you feel great. And if you have anxiety, I wouldn't really recommend VidCon because it's such, it's so, everybody's around you and like you just start to feel like, ah, oh, you know, I don't want to be here no more. It's like, ah, oh, there's so many people. Huh. I met some of you guys, which was freaking insane. What's up guys, future me coming at you. Guys, this video has taken so long to edit, like I can't even explain or put it into perspective on how long it took. So what I'm gonna do is I'm going to end it here, and if you guys wanna hear more stories like this one, please let me know down in the comments. And if you guys like this, please give this video a like and a thumbs up, it'll help me a lot, really. Also, subscribe if that button is still red. I don't know what you guys are doing. We're gonna have some collabs in the future. We're gonna have some friends. We're gonna have some amazing, amazing creators on this channel. So make sure you look out for that and press the notification button to be notified every time I upload. All right, guys, hashtag stay electric. And I'll see you guys in the next video. <coughs>